All right, it was uh, good to get our first Pac-12 win. Uh, obviously, it took a little bit longer than we had hoped, but uh, we got it. I uh, thought we played well. Um, played well from uh, start to finish defensively. I thought the defensive effort was outstanding. Uh, held him to 30 yards rushing and and uh, held a good quarterback to uh, uh, you know not a not a lot of production and uh, got after the quarterback. We had six sacks and and four takeaways, which really was huge for the for the football team to to have that happen. Offensively, I thought we played exceptionally well in the first half. We moved the ball well. We scored points. Uh, I think we had 235 yards in the first half and four and uh, 24 points. Uh, slowed down in the second half, particularly bad third quarter. There was no production in the third quarter. I think it was three straight, three and outs. So uh, yeah, we're making progress, though. Took care of the football on offense and uh, scored enough points to, uh, to win the game. Special teams was solid as well. Um, you know, we had uh, Coleman Peterson make uh, a couple more field goals. He's, he's kicking very well. Uh, kickoff coverage team continues to be a strong suit for us. So a lot of positives in that game, but the biggest one, obviously, is getting the win. and and uh, getting in the win column in the, in the uh, Pac-12 conference. Moving on to Arizona, uh, we go down there on a road trip to Tucson. Uh, they're coming off a, a loss to the Huskies. And uh, you know, offensively, they've been, they've been moving the ball. They're, they're getting a, a bunch of yards, you know, 450 plus yards a week, and, and uh, right thereabouts and, and uh, scoring points. And so we've got a work cut out for us defensively this week. Uh, quarterback's exceptional, just like every other quarterback we face in this conference. It's another one in a long line of uh, top flight quarterbacks. Uh, Foles kid and, and uh, Kreiner, the receiver, is an outstanding receiver, just like the ones we've been facing every week. And so nothing different there. Uh, offensively, we need to continue uh, taking care of the football. Uh, John White, also I should mention, John White had a big game for us uh, Saturday night, 200 five yards and 35 carries. So he was a workhorse and, and really was the, uh, the majority of the offense was John White. And, uh, you know, as John White goes, uh, so goes our offense. That's how it seemed to be this season when he has a big game and, and does well, then, then uh, we uh, typically win. So we need that to happen again this week. Uh, you know, John's a guy that, uh, you know, is, is, is the featured back in the offense. And uh, I think 35 times, that's a lot of work. That's a lot of carries. But uh, he's, uh, you know, he's a tough kid, and, and uh, he's been more than willing to do whatever we've asked. So, questions? I know the numbers didn't necessarily bear it out, but did you see progress from John Hayes on, on Saturday night? And if so, where did you see it? We did. We saw progress in the way he managed the offense, the decisions he made. Uh, took good care of the football, which is job one. You know, I say that every week, but, but that is job one for the offense is to take care of the football. He did a nice job of that. And... Um, you know, his numbers, you know, very modest. You know, we didn't throw the ball a whole bunch. And when John White's ripping off runs like he was, there's no reason to throw the ball. Plus, when we have the lead, uh, you know, we want to be smart. There's a, you know, you got to play to your strengths and, and understand who you are and, and uh, whatever the blueprint is for to get a victory, uh, we need to follow that blueprint. And for us, it's play great defense, be solid on special teams, and, and take care of the ball offensively. Kyle, John White's kind of on the cusp of being a, the next 1,000-yard rusher at Utah. It's kind of an elite thing. I guess there's only 11 guys have ever done it. Can you just talk about John White maybe from that historical perspective and if he belongs <coughs> in the discussion with the other 1,000-yard rushers? Well, he's still early in his career. You know, he's only been here eight games, but uh, so far he's off to a great start. And you're right, he is closing in on that on that milestone. Um, you know, I think time will tell if he is, is going to be in the same category. as We have had some pretty good running backs come through here, but all I can say is he's off to a great start. He's got the right mentality. He's got the tools. And uh, I don't see any reason why he won't be uh, in that conversation when all is said and done. But, but as for right now, he's just working hard and, and uh, trying to uh, find ways to help us win. Kyle, with the injuries that you've had this year, is it becoming very apparent to you how much more important depth is going to be in this conference compared to the Mountain yeah. West or other places? Yeah, depth, depth has always been a factor, in, but it's even more magnified now that uh, we're in the Pac-12. and. Yeah, I think we've had eight, seven or eight season-ending injuries to key guys, which, which is, uh, you know, it's a, it's a lot. It's, it's more than we've had in a lot of years. I think I go back to 07, I think we had four or five of those in 07 to key guys. Brian Johnson, Brent Castile, uh, Boone, or Jason Boone, our, our offensive tackle. But anyway, yeah, to answer the question, um, I think that uh, there was no doubt that, that you know, the, the, uh, as the level of play uh, increases, the need for depth uh, increases as well, and we're working towards that end. You know, that's a that's a recruiting process, and we're trying to 
take steps forward every single year, you know, in that direction. You're halfway, a little over halfway through the Pac-12 schedule. Is looking at it backwards right now? Do you do you look at it like, uh, is it about what you expected it would be, or is it harder than it would be, or is it certainly not easier? But just I'd say it's about ex exactly what I expected it to be. And uh, you know, we watch tape all off season, and the tape doesn't lie. I mean, you can see, uh, you know. Uh, great receivers throughout the league, great quarterbacks throughout the league. Most teams have a great running back, and uh, it, uh, it, you know. So to answer the question, no, I was not surprised at all. We preached that all off season, all spring, all summer to our, to our players, and I think they understood going in. And uh, you know, that's what it is. The bar's been raised, and that's that's no secret.